Hello everybody! This video is about how to accelerate your internet connection in Windows 10, 8 or 7. Dear friends, if you need to recover deleted data, use Utilities by Hetman Software. Follow the link in the description to visit our website, download a utility for free and install it. Then start disk analysis. When the process is over, it will show the files available for recovery, and you will be able to bring them back. Our blog features quick guides to solve all kinds of problems faced by Windows users. Our channel and blog offer solutions for any issues, from installing the operating system to remote administration and connecting mobile devices. Our specialists will be glad to answer your questions in comments to videos and articles. Often a virus attack can make your internet connection slower, as well as reduce your computer performance. Watch our previous video to learn how to protect your system from viruses. Find the link in the description. The speed of loading and displaying web pages in your browser depends on the computer's performance. If your machine is obsolete, you will have to upgrade it. Watch a video about making a computer work faster. You will find the link in the description. Now let's go to the website speed test and measure the speed of Internet connection. Now let's try to improve this result and increase the speed. Step 1 is Disable bandwidth limit. Press Win plus R key sequence. In the window that opens, enter gpedit.msc and click OK. The local group policy editor appears. Left click on Computer Configuration, then go to Administrative Templates, Network, QoS Packet Scheduler. Double click on the item Limit Reservable Bandwidth. In the window that opens, select Enabled and lower in the Settings section, change the value to 0 in the line Bandwidth Limit and then click Apply. Then open Limit Outstanding Packets, switch it to Enable and change the current value to 4 and 9 zeros. Then click Apply. Step 2. Increase the number of simultaneous connections. Press Windows plus R key sequence. In the window that opens, enter Regedit and click OK. The register editor starts. Now go to H key, Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version. In the right window, right-click and select New DWORD 32-bit value. Name it as Max Connection per Server. Then right-click on the value and select Modify from the list. In the opening window, enter 16 into the field Value Data and click OK. Repeat the previous actions, but give the value another name – Max Connection 10 Server. Then click Modify. Enter the value data 16 and click OK.
Step 3. Disable the Receive Window Auto-Tuning feature. Right-click on the Start menu and select Command Prompt Administrator. Enter the command. You will find all commands in the description for this video. Click OK. Step 4. Optimize your Internet browser. Open the Internet browser you use every day. In my case, it is Google Chrome. Go to the menu – More tools – Extensions – and delete the ones you don't use. If you use Opera, you can turn Turbo Mode on. It is a free service that allows web pages load faster for slow Internet connections. When the connection speed varies greatly or it is unstable, Opera decides automatically if it should use this acceleration option. To enable Turbo Mode, go to Menu – Settings – Browser and select the item Show Advanced Settings at the bottom of the page, and then check the box next to Enable Opera Turbo. Using advertising blockers can also help to make your browsing faster. For example, Opera has got a built-in advertising blocker. Go to Menu – Settings – Basic, check the box next to Block Ads and serve the web up to three times faster. Step 5. Adapter Power Management Right-click on the Start menu and select Device Manager. In the section Network Adapters, select the one you use to connect to the Internet. Double-click on it and go to the tab Power Management. Uncheck the box Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. You should do it for all devices such as Ethernet or Wi-Fi adapters and modems which you use to connect to the Internet. Open Control Panel. Power Options and select High Performance. It will prevent the system from disabling the network and Wi-Fi adapters to save energy, but your computer will take more power. You will not notice the difference for a desktop computer, but this setting will eat up a laptop's battery a bit faster, so it makes sense to switch back to balanced power plan when you are not using the Internet too much. Step 6. Amplify Wi-Fi signal or switch to cable Internet connection. If you are connected to the Internet through a Wi-Fi router, try establishing a direct connection between the computer's network adapter and the router with a cable. It will improve ping. The delay will be less than for a wireless network, which is very good for online games. On the whole, less data will be lost during transmission if compared to a wireless network, which will give a boost to both speed and quality of your Internet connection. If you cannot connect the cable to your network adapter, uh, try placing the Wi-Fi router closer to the computer or put your computer closer to the router to improve the signal quality. If that is impossible, try setting up wireless repeaters in the rooms where you use Wi-Fi, but the signal is too weak. Make sure that you've got a password set for your Wi-Fi router. If there is no password, you must set it. If there is a weak password or you haven't changed it for a long time, try changing it. Someone else may know it and use it to connect to your network, which can reduce your Internet connection speed as well. Step 7 is acceleration 3G and 4G connections. 3G and 4G modems are usually connected to COM ports, though in fact they are using USB ports. But this is how it is made technically. The speed of a COM port is not too high, so you can increase it and improve your Internet connection. To do it, go to Device Manager – Ports and find Serial Port COM1 there. Go to its properties and then to the tab Port Settings. In the list for bits per second, select the maximal value. Then apply the changes. It is worth trying various USB ports, as some, as some may work incorrectly and slow down your modem. 
Try reconnecting your modem to the USB port if its speed is lower than expected. The matter is that the technologies involved in connecting a 3G or 4G modem to an Internet provider suggest the provider has 10 to 12 various channels. When turned on, the device will randomly connect to one of the channels. Quite often, one channel may have 100 users, while another only 10. Test the actual connection speed with speed test after the modem is connected. If the modem speed is much lower than expected, disconnect and then reconnect the modem to the USB port. You may need to do it several times. And step 8 is close programs using the Internet. Close all programs that might be used in the Internet connection while you are not working with such programs. For example, Skype, Viber, Torrent, mail clients and all kinds of automatic updates. In one of our videos, we showed how to disable Windows Automatic Update. You will find the link in the description. And step 9 is disable inbound traffic in the firewall. Watch our previous video to learn how to disable inbound traffic in the firewall. Find the link in the description. It shows the steps with the example of Windows Firewall. Step 10 is set up DNS by Google Yandex. DNS servers 8888 and 8844 are public DNS servers by Google. There are alternative DNS servers with a closed source code developed and maintained by Google. DNS servers 778888 and 778881 are public uh, basic DNS by Yandex. They are fast and reliable. What is a DNS? DNS is an Internet address book that holds the digital address of every website. Every time you visit a web page, the browser is looking for its address in the DNS system. The faster is the DNS server that is nearest to you, the quicker the website will open. Sometimes your provider's DNS servers may face software or hardware issues, or they can block certain websites and so on. That is why it makes sense trying to use alternative DNS. To do it, right-click on the network icon in the lower right corner of the screen, select Open Network and Sharing Center and click on Change Adapter Settings. In the window that opens, choose the Network Adapter and go to its properties. In the list of elements, select Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and double-click on it. The window Internet Protocol TCP IP properties will open and you should check the box next to the item. Use the following DNS server addresses. Set. 8888 as preferred DNS server and 8844 as alternate server. As we remember, it's a DNS by Google. After that, click OK. If you have a Wi-Fi router, I'd recommend doing as follows. Set the router IP address as preferred server. 192.168.11 or 192.168.01 and set a Google public server as alternate server. This way you will be able to use provider's resources as well as enjoy stable work of Google services. Please remember that changing DNS servers of your provider may result in the loss of Internet connection. It's related to provider settings. If your provider doesn't support alternate DNS servers for technical reasons, reset all settings to values supported by your provider. We have changed some settings to optimize the Internet connection, and now let's go to the speed test website again and measure the speed of Internet connection for comparison. Now the speed is higher. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more. Leave your comments and share this video with your friends.